So when it comes to gaming on your laptop or just basically using your laptop alone, one of the tendencies that types that happen or tends to happen is they heat up relatively quite quickly, whether you're doing high workload or gaming or even simply just editing videos. I tend to run into this struggle quite a lot with my gaming laptop, which is the HP Omen 15 series. Um, and yes, the gaming laptop I am using does have a large amount of cooling fans and they do work relatively really easily but they tend to get very loud when the laptop exceeds 80, 85 degrees. Now, I wanted to try and think of a way I could still game on my laptop, still edit on my laptop without having excessive noise from the fans uh, and obviously help cooling. Now, I did find this little guy, or should I say little guy, I found this guy and it turned out to be incredible. So let's just have a look at it. and we are talking about Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Already an amazing deal because of the autumn big sale. So from this process, all we need to do is platform, region, tags, as well as go to buy now. So we'll click on buy now, it'll then transfer us over to this page. From here, we down the promotions, what we need to do is type in SKJT and click on apply. Reduce your price down from 17 pound and a penny down to 13 pound 61. So from here, all we need to do is go down to submit order. As soon as you've done that, you just select your payment type and of course we'll go from there. So as soon as you've actually bought it and went through the process, you'll be brought to this page. From here, what we need to do is click on the green tab, which says view, view keys and codes. So what you need to do is click on get the key and the middle code is gonna be your activation key. Mine's gonna be blurred out, but yours won't be, so don't worry. So what we need to do is highlight this code, click on control C, or you can right click and just click copy. Then what we need to do is go over the settings, top left, find in settings, type in activation. Where it says change product key, give that a click. And then where's this product key? Just copy and paste, well, just paste your code into there. Mine will be blurred, yours won't be. Do that. Click on next. So there we go. Windows has checked it and you are now ready to activate it. Just click on activate and you are pretty much good to go. So what we're going to do now is roughly show you what it's actually like using it. So we went through everything there is to know about the cooler. It is a standalone cooler. You've got four smaller individual fans and two larger fans. You do have the two feet at the bottom, which does allow the laptop to actually sit, but you also do get the cool two little rubber feet going on there, which will actually protect the bottom of your laptop, depending obviously if you care or not. So obviously what we're using today is one of the uh, Razer 17 inch laptops. I think this is a 17 blade or blaze. I'm not really sure. Got this a few weeks ago, phenomenal laptop. A review will be coming for it soon. Um, what we're gonna do is roughly see how it works. Of course, what we need to do first is this is powered by the actual port on the laptop. So what we're going to do is get this seated up on one of the levels. So we'll probably do it quite high just so you guys can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the feet down and then I'm going to slide the rubber feet on just in case. And what I'm going to do is sit the laptop on top. So 17 inch laptop still fits quite nicely. Obviously, predominantly, I think on the website, it does say it's meant for 15.6 inch max, but 17 will work. A little bit of overhang, nothing too major. So we're going to pull this up. We've got the uh, LCD screen lit up. So we do have a plus or my minus button. We have the RGB button as well as the on off button. So what we can do is cycle through different levels of RGB. If you want them on or off, it's pretty much all dependent. And then on the cooling pads part, we do have several, uh, several options. So we have from level one, which is at the lowest fan setting all the way up to level five and then max. So that's gonna give you the best airflow you possibly can get. If I just take my laptop off here and move that to one side, just close that slightly. You can see, move this right up. Obviously you can see the fans there, relatively really good airflow. So I have to admit, if you are doing some intense gaming or if your laptop technically generally just gets really hot, this is probably a good little bit of kit relatively really cheap like i said this is a 17 inch laptop and it does fit really well but we do have the four individual smaller fans as well as the two bigger fans if you do hold down the off button the top two fans will turn off but the bottom four will turn on and then if you press and hold it again it swaps over so if you only need a slight amount of airflow the top two fans will turn on and the bottom four will turn off and again if i hold it off everything kicks back in and you are pretty much good to go with the likes of the RGB, all you need to do is click the button and the sidebar will change. As I see, it just goes red, 
all the way cycles through. You can't change the center RGB, I don't think. No, just holding it turns off the side bit. So the center blue RGB you can't turn off, but you can buy uh, different variations. So when you check the links in the video description from Amazon, um, that'll show you different ones so you can get, obviously, blue, green, red. I'm not sure if they do a full RGB one in the center. I'm not sure, but you will have to check it out. But we do get the RGB around the side, so it does give you that little bit of a, of a nicer feel. So you can have that on as well. Um, because you're utilizing one of the uh, USB ports on your laptop, you do get an external... Oh, you do get another USB port right there, which you can use instead. So you're not losing out on... A USB port. There was a phone holder as well, just a simple black plastic phone holder that went on the side. Me being daft, uh, I kind of binned it with the packaging. I didn't realize until I looked for the uh, guide and it said there was a phone stand and now I remember seeing it. So it does come with a phone holder as well, but just when you buy it, make sure you check the packaging, not like what I did. But that's pretty much where we're at. So... Cooling wise, I haven't got my laptop hot enough or res respectively that warm yet. But what I will do is I'll do a future video regarding this and pretty much how it's actually reacting. Plug that. And how it actually deals with like some maybe intense gaming or even some benchmarks or anything like that. So when I do a video for the Razer, I'll probably add it into that video as well. Um, just to see roughly how good the coolant actually is. I haven't had the chance to actually fully go into depth. So I have to admit really does do really well i believe these are 90 mil fan fans and i believe the two at the top are 120 mils and i might just be 100s i think they might be 120s i think they're 120s yeah so you got four 90 mil fans and you got two about 100 120 mil fans so it is definitely going to be really good especially if you like your laptop sat up as well i tend to game on a laptop stand which is slightly elevated so it's more on an angle so there's also that to think about as well so if this is definitely something you're going to be thinking about getting Check the links in the video description. There'll be a link there so you can go check it out for yourself. But by all means, if you do have any questions, please just drop it down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But as always, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a really good day.